Alright, today we're going to look at uh, different linkages on Tecumseh engines, the uh, horizontal shaft engines. Right now in front of us we're looking at a Tecumseh 5 horsepower engine that came off of a, um, a lawn chipper vacuum type of thing. And um, if we go around back here and we take a look at the uh, governor arm, we'll see the only piece of linkage here on this particular governor arm is in the, uh, the, the second hole from the end. And if we uh, move it back and forth and take a look at the, what's happening by the carburetor, you'll see that that piece of linkage is connected right here. And then the other piece of linkage is up above and attached to the top of this carburetor. Um, the uh, throttle cable for this particular unit has been disconnected but in theory, it would push this lever up and this piece would slide back and forth. So that's the 5 horsepower. Let's move on to the 7 horsepower. Alright, right here we're looking at an Aaron's snowblower with a 7 horsepower engine on it. Again, it's a Tecumseh. I've taken the heater box off. And once again, we'll look down here. Whoop, shadow's in the way. But the, uh, too hard to see down there. Let's try a different direction. This again is the governor arm. And this one too has just one piece of linkage on the second hole from the end. And when we push that piece of, uh, uh, that governor arm back and forth, the linkage on it, we'll see what's happening over here. It moves the, uh, the throttle on top of this carburetor and also this one is powered by a control here and you'll see that this is in this hole up here to the carburetor and uh, that is the piece of linkage to the governor arm so that's the seven horsepower Tecumseh let's move on to the eight horsepower Tecumseh Alright, and here on yet another uh, Tecumseh engine, this one is an 8 horsepower engine. Um, we're looking at the carburetor and the governor arm. Back here is the governor arm, again with two pieces of linkage on the back. Uh, the fatter one, which is the second hole from the end, connects up to the uh, control up here. And then the other piece of linkage, the thinner one, actually connects to the top of the carburetor right here. So as the uh, it throttles up, and then the uh, the governor needs to to reduce the RPMs, it'll move this way and turn, um, reducing the speed of the carburetor. So. Again, we got this one up here. Whereas this one's a little different than the other ones that I've shown you. Um, this piece of linkage is up in the upper hole. And uh, some of them are in the bottom hole. I don't know that makes much of a difference. But this is, uh, this is the way it is stock right now. I haven't adjusted this one at all myself. So, there we go. It comes the 8 horsepower throttle linkage and governor linkage. Alright, here we're looking at a John Deere uh, snowblower, snow thrower. Uh, with an 8 horsepower Tecumseh engine on it. Uh, excuse me, I'm wrong. This is a 10 horsepower. So, let's look again look over here at the uh, governor arm. And you'll see this one has two pieces of linkage coming off of it. The uh, fatter piece of linkage and the second hole from the end goes over here to the throttle control. And the throttle control is pointed upright like this. And then the other piece of linkage, a smaller one, is on the very end hole of the governor arm. And that one connects to the top of the, uh, the carburetor here. So um, if we throttle up and down, you'll see what's going on here. And if you're throttled up and then the governor needs to throttle back, it'll push back and allow the uh, RPMs to... To back off a little bit so uh, again we're down here in the second hole um, 
with this piece up upright. So there we go. If that has answered anybody's questions, and I hope uh, I hope I helped out. Thanks for watching. All right, one more thing I want to add to this video uh, regarding these Tecumseh engines. In this case, we're looking at this uh, John Deere 1032. Uh, this particular one has throttle up here on the handles by the handlebar, and uh, you know that's fast. And uh, you'll see down here it says actually stop and off, um, or store and off. And uh, what will happen is when you pull this down into the stop position, um, what's going on down here is this little metal tab uh, will connect with the control. So again, if we push it up and give it some speed, the connection is broken right there. And now that we're going to be in... Uh, in fast and then we'll turn it down and in back in the stop position what what basically going on and we can only see this this well because I took the carburetor off it's being cleaned right now um, is down here at the bottom is a wire and the wire uh, goes over here and um, it's connected to some other wires which are safety features on the snow blower but basically all these wires are connected to the ignition coil for the engine and the way that you kill an engine uh, is, or stop an engine, is you short it out. And by, by allowing this to slide down and touch this little wire, that basically shorts out the engine and the engine shuts off. So that's what that's all about. Alright, again, thanks for watching.